What is up, everybody? It's Gabe211 here, and we are on the test server, and it's a big day because we're going to be looking at the free-for-all mode. Yes, this is on the test server, which means it's likely going to be heading over to you guys very soon, but I'm going to show you guys my experience with it so far. So the way they have it set up in here is really just within the tournament structure, which is kind of interesting. Um, you'll see that me, Chad211, I've been playing it a lot today. I mean, it. I'm not doing this to show you guys, you know, who's here or who's better because this doesn't matter at all. We're all just play testing stuff. Um, and these guys regularly do a lot better than me. I just played a lot today because it's like one of the last days on the test server. But I did this so that I can go to the guidelines and show you guys, at least in this tournament schedule setup, they they show the different maps. And it's really just two different maps that cycle in. Today is Freeside, all right? Um, I have played this one a small bit, but I think when I've been able to get on the test server, I haven't been able to really test this one out. Um, and there isn't really a, an easy way to set it up and play in customs. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't really have an easy way to do that because when I go into customs, uh, it doesn't really show up in the, the customs setup down here. Uh, like it normally would or like you'd think it would at least showing in another mode it doesn't show up here there is a way to get into it but it's been a little it's it's been glitchy for me today so I haven't really been able to use the other method of, of playing it um, but it might just be because the test server is going to close soon I'm not sure but anyway enough of me talking about all that stuff you guys just want to see uh, some matches so we're going to jump into a couple just so you can see how it feels and uh, yeah let's do it here we go all right here we go as you can see, everybody's labeled as the enemy. Uh, I'm going to start with the EM rifles just to see how this does. I feel like in this game, you got to have quick damage and then, uh, you know, you want to have a lot of uptime to your weapon. So the EM rifles seems ideal for this. Um, one thing I will say that I didn't say before is that the AI is all beefed out. They are, they are as strong as me. Um, so it makes it trickier for sure. Uh, thankfully, I have some decent uh, ping right now. Plenty of other matches I've been playing today are, are were in between three and 400. Guys were warping around, and they were sticking around after I killed them, so it made it really hard. But look at that, man. Two uh, EM shots to the face, and it didn't kill him. Um, I don't think I have all of my implants fully maxed out, but they're pretty dang strong. And oh, gosh. Uh, oh, and you can see that guy with the yellow tag there. He is the one who's the kill leader. So when you are the kill leader, you get marked as the, the leader in kills. I'm not the leader right now. Probably after I get a couple more since we just took him out, we'll get... Oh, there we go. All right, now we're the, the kill leader. So you get uh, an achievement for it, but then you also get tagged by the rest of the players. And you'll see that in this mode, uh, you can't really hide from other players. Oh my gosh, I'm getting toasted. Come on. Give me a shot. All right. <laughs> You'll also see that after you make a kill, you heal some health, not all of it back. So, I mean, obviously, the, the more you can sustain, the better. Uh, so you just want to try to keep that in mind. Boom, there we go. We got back in green. Good to go. And we still have the lead in kills, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, yeah. I, like, when it kills a guy, you can see that the crown is up there. So it means that I'm still the leader on the kills. Uh, I, I like the way they did that. It's kind of cool. Um, and it gives everyone else a target to shoot for based on seeing their name. Um, but yeah, I, I think I just said this, but it shows everybody on radar. So, uh, you can't really hide unless you're using a stealth type of thing. Um, there is no, I, I don't think there is. Maybe there is. Yeah, I guess it is because I have the red eyesight, but usually I can see everybody when they get into a match. So I don't know if that like comes back and disappears, um, or it just shows you like when you're not in stealth, if it's always showing, but I believe I'm always seen from, uh, from everybody's perspective because that guy like, like right next to me i could see him oh gosh ah uh, and i probably should have seen that guy behind me but i was too busy looking at that other guy on the other side of me all right we're gonna go with surge just because i think he's been really good the ai has been wrecking me at times with surge they're not very smart with redeemer though they don't really use redeemer's backtrack ability but yeah, a lot of people are using the VRPGs. One thing I like about this too, is there's a lot of different variety in the loadouts that the AI use. Some of them will use like top end stuff like that surge right there. Uh, other ones will use VRPGs. Obviously it's all max stuff, at least where I am, cause I have everything maxed out, but it should be based on your level, based on certain mechs and stuff that's in your uh, area, but it'll use a lot of variety and, oh. Okay, I thought I, he wasn't gonna see me. We're gonna have to do that. Um, a lot of variety in loadouts, which is really nice. All right, we're still leading in kills, which is good to go. Good to go. I'm liking that. Nice. Okay. 
It is cool to see Redox on the field. It makes me wonder if that'll help some people for achievements. Um, he's also a pain if you end up like on the same side as him and he uses it in his home base. Like he didn't use it on me there, but they've done it before to me and it's a pain in the butt. But it, you definitely have to keep on your toes in this mode, man, because everyone is out to get you. Um, everyone can benefit from kills and you gotta get kills fast because other people, if they start shooting at the same guy you're shooting at, they can take your kills. So it definitely is very fast and furious. Uh, and you want to obviously steal kills when you can because whoever gets the kill gets the heal. And that's really important, right? So um, got to keep that kind of stuff in mind. Um, your weapons don't reload though. So you want to, you know, again, have weapons that have good uptime uh, as well as like doing a lot of damage. Um, so arcs obviously are really good. Um, the uh, EM rifles, I, I think would be good. I'm also curious to try like uh, grab beams. Um, and I, I have that set up with Bastion, uh, so I'm hoping I can get some matches in that way, because I think that also is going to be pretty fun and probably pretty strong. We'll see. Obviously, this is bots. It's not real players, which will present different challenges. But the bots, I mean, once you get them with maxed out stuff, they're, they're still quite a good challenge, I think. I think it's still going to be, you know, not comparable to players, but definitely way better in the experience than with the uh the the ai i think we have in the game now so hopefully this can carry over in other ways into the game Ooh, man i'm glad that guy didn't see me that would have been bad around that corner Ooh, let's get this redeemer oh uh no couldn't get him in time i do think it's interesting that it always says draw at the end of it but yeah we did hit it on the top spot there top two spots uh with both of our mechs uh, pretty solid, but you can see even the enemy player there, uh, the AI, got like a godlike. So they are very, very good, very comparable. Um, and, uh, you know, decent amount of kills on, on some of them there. If we go into the MVPs, you'll see that, yeah, he has a maxed out setup for Surge there. So very good, but let's move on. All right, I'm hoping we get a different group of uh, enemies, but I'm going to focus on Bastion. And I think for this time, I'm going to try to... I don't know how quickly I can, but I want to get to that center area. Let's see if I can just go in. Yeah, that guy's on the side there. Let's try to just keep an eye on him. But since we got our shield, I'm going to risk it. And we got a kill. And we got in here without too many scratches. Got a little bit, but we can get our health back. Nice. Yeah, I I have a feeling like being in this ramped area where you can get all eyes on everything, um, you can sneak a lot of kills. And Bastion with his big body, big shield. Nice, we got kill leader. Uh, should be able to do well here, I think. Depends on how much the enemies close in. It seems like they try to focus on the spawns. Oh, gosh. All right. I don't want guys to get too close to me and then just sneak up behind me. So I feel like, oh, man, we got the we got the kill shot with the arcs. That's going to be tricky, too. I'm sure, it's going to be like the surge with the arcs. But, man, with that shield... Taking all that damage for me. Freezing guys and doing damage to them when they need it. Yeah, Bastion, I mean, I don't know. I think he's going to be... Ooh, I think he's going to be a good one for this. There we go. Got him. Let's pull back because I don't know where that guy is. Oh, there's one Redeemer right there. We'll put our shield up, though. Boom, it got the freeze on him, I think. I think that was from me, me not somebody else. That's good. Ah, uh, all right. Yep, yep. Makes sense. Man, Aegis... I don't know. I don't know what to think about Aegis for this mode. Like, he's really tanky. But I can't imagine his ability is going to massively help. I think, like, Ares or Juggernaut might be better. Okay. Whew. All right. That guy is just standing there. All right. There we go. Now he started shooting at me. Now well, let's get this Tengu. Cool to see Tengu in this mode. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely seeing different mechs than we saw last time. A lot of them are using arcs, though. So, ah. Uh, all right. Let's try to use this to our advantage. Pop out here. Yeah, while he's busy, especially. Okay, there we go. We'll pull back. There's a Tengu. Oh, now we can get him. Nice. Good deal. Yeah, it's putting down the... I mean, it does take a little while to kill stuff. I'll, I'll give it that. So maybe this isn't the best loadout when you're talking max stuff. But uh, it is, it is like, a lot of uptime. Still doing pretty solid damage. And if you can catch enemies off guard, which is easier to do, in my opinion, because there's just so many targets... Um, you know, it's not bad. 
Uh, Bastion, though, with his big body, with his shield, I think is going to do really well in this mode. Um, because speed is an amazing, a, a, ma a massive factor when there's just so many targets to just pick off. Because everyone's against you, so it's going to be a lot easier to just find people to shoot at. You don't really need to chase ooh, chase people down as much. All right, go ahead. Use that. Yeah. All right. We'll, f we'll get both those guys. Sweet. <laughs> Dude, I feel like Bastion is just cleaning up. I'm saying. He's just he's going to be good for this mode. I wonder what the max kills you can get in this is. It's probably still like 50. That it would be the same thing it would be like in TDM. Oh. Here we go. Oh, mm, okay. I couldn't tell if somebody was behind me there. I mean, they probably are. It looks like they are, but I think they're higher up. Yeah, or further away. Oh, man. Oh, I just couldn't quite get him. All right, we'll just sneak in on this guy's back. Boom, there we go. Don't take my kill. I'm going to get that guy. You can die, too. There we go. I think that Aegis is dead, though. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's move away, though, because I think... Uh, Someone else is starting to creep up on me. This is a good one to go after. If he comes up. Come on. Don't hide. Oh. <laughs> Man, it is hard to sneak up on Bastion. Even though he totally did. <laughs> Gosh, dude. The potential for this guy. Am I hit? Okay. I couldn't tell if I was hitting him or not. I don't know if I even have a uh, a uh, cooldown implant on him, but he is he is cleaning house here. Come on now. I bet him with EM12s though would probably be the ideal setup in this kind of situation. At least I think. I mean, EMs obviously they want to have a little bit of distance, but because they output so much damage and because they reload so quickly. I'm guessing the 12s are going to be better than doing this. But this will just have so much continuous damage uptime. Ooh, ooh. Man, my mouse is going crazy. Oh, no, no. Oh, man, I thought he was going to get me. Oh, man, that was good. That was good. Bastion. Holding it up there. Very good. Yeah, against Max Bots, dude, that's, that's quite respectable. I feel like he's going to be a, a good contender. And you'll see this too. This mo the, this is the uh, the score and the achievement that you get for being the, the top kill. Or the top killer. Leader in kills, I guess. And then the regular achievements you usually see. All that good stuff, right? Yep, yep, yep. And then again, yeah, if we, um, if we look at the MVPs, you'll see these are, again, just the max bots. A lot of arcs on this one, though. It's cool to see the Redeemer. Nice to see kill shot, of course. Yep. Um, but yeah, all those arc builds. So those are high damage too. Uh, can fry you up pretty quick. I also think there'll be others that are, are plenty good. I just was really impressed with Bastion just because a lot of people are saying that he's a good mech, probably the best tank. But I mean, not a ton of people are using tanks given their slower speed. And a lot of people are saying he's too slow, too susceptible to rocket mortars. But in this mode, you're probably not going to see many rocket mortars. I think he's going to be really good. But you guys can let me know what you think, what you think will work best in free-for-all mode. And we'll see you out there on the battlefield.